my name's Michael Landy. 13 for the 5th, 1963. It's a good cry. What kind of artist am I? What kind of artist am I? What kind of, kind of question is that? Big bin full of art. I like the idea that people witness things and it's there one moment and then it's gone the next. And then people talk about it. it all gets cleared away and it all goes to landfill, or as I call it, landy fill. I'm gonna make a bit of Norman. Uh, I'm gonna bash the bin. As a child, I used to like taking things apart. But I think all children like to take things apart. <laughs> so you want to have a greater understanding about how things work, basically. So obviously, I've always been interested in rubbish, you know, because it's basically just the leftovers from us, really. It's kind of like dead matter. Back in 2001, I did actually literally destroy everything I owned, all 7,227 items. I literally put on this kind of performance for two weeks where people could come in off the street and witness me destroying all my worldly belongings. It's the best thing I ever did in my whole life. I mean, it's the thing I'm most known for, and people, I mean, people still talk about it to this day. This is the menu that we created. These procedures provide a general guidelines for use by the operators working on breakdown. We had like 12 operatives who took everything apart. So we had like artworks, clothing, electrical, furniture, kitchen, leisure, and then we had the kind of shredding and granulating bay. I saw a Jean Tangley exhibition, Swiss kinetic artist, in 1982. He made this machine called Homage to New York, a self-destroying, self-destructing machine. It was a performance piece, this machine performed in front of the great and good of uh, New York society. It would fire up an electrical motor and then it was all made out of junk and then it would go... <laughs> ...lasted for 27 minutes and so I liked the idea, you know, it's just like life, isn't it? It kind of, it's there for a short amount of time and then it kind of dissipates and that's kind of, I guess that's what I'm interested in really. Yeah, my dad, he was, um, we came over to um, London from Ireland in the late 50s and became a tunnel miner, which is like building parts of London underground and sewers. He was, you know, tunnelling underground and literally, um, you know, the um, tunnel uh, collapsed and he was literally being buried alive. He had um, all sorts of spinal injuries. He was in like traction for about six months. They said he was never going to walk again. So I was a child when it kind of happened. So I guess that did actually inform the kind of issues I'm interested in as an artist. I'm interested in things that are on the periphery. Most artists are. intrigued about what our society gives value to and what our society doesn't give value to. So like weeds are a nuisance, people dig them up, you know, they're basically a plant out of place. I literally dug up these plants, kept them in the earth and literally drew them as they died. I mean they're just on, superimposed on a, on a white piece of paper and they're very kind of fragile because you can get very beautiful lines with um, an etching needle. They're in and amongst all the rubbish on bits of wasteland. They're very entrepreneurial. They'll just find bits of wasteland to grow. And that's what I really liked about them. They're a nuisance in a sense, but I found them symbols of optimism.
consumerism is the number one ideology of our times. Obviously wanted to explore that more in art bin. Iconoclasm, the kind of destruction of images, it's actually a creative thing, it's not necessarily a kind of nihilist thing. So the art bin itself, it's about monuments of failure basically, things that haven't worked. I always like the idea of like if we could have just picked the art bin up at South London Gallery, put it on a flatbed lorry and like taking it to all sorts of different museums all over the world. This is part of the Yokohama Triennale and this is um, the Grand Gallery. This is the main entrance to the Yokohama Art Museum. So people will be coming through here and they'll be seeing, witnessing, hopefully, people throwing artworks into a giant bin. This is David Hockney's splash, so it's going to go, woo, bang. David Hockney, if you're watching, that's nothing personal. It's a good artwork. It's literally open to everybody. Amateur, professional, well-known, completely unknown. Once the works enter the bin, then they all have the same value, in a sense. They all become one huge artwork in a sense and I like it when the artworks start to crash into each other and merge into each other and shatter onto each other and pierce each other and um, well it just looks like a big bin with full of art so um, and that's what I like about it is when it starts to become a mass of stuff I just basically went through the infantry at the gallery and looked at mm -hmm. what I was prepared to get rid of, really. Oh, that's Louis the Buck. I like to keep them in their frames because obviously when you throw them in the bin, they make a really nice, the glass will make a really nice sh shattering sound. Every now and again, it doesn't look like them. That's Gordon Watson, he never liked his portrait. Did he not? No. Well, I recognise it straight away. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, um, yeah, his head is a lot smaller in the drawing than it is actually in real life. It's, it's very distinctive looking, Gordon, but um, yeah, I made his head too small. I guess portraits of people, unless they want themselves in a sense, I'm not sure what role you sign for them, really. This is Joe, and Joe didn't actually want to look at himself, but that's actually a, that's actually a very good portrait. I feel a bit, yeah, like, oh, what am I doing? But anyway, it's too late now. This is Adam Chodzko. He's, he's uh, an old friend of mine. He's an artist, and it does look like him. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. OK. I didn't want them to get destroyed before they got to um, Yokohama, and so that's why we've made a box for them. So our art works. And I guess they're no longer artworks once they enter the bin. I think the works that are thrown in the bin, I wouldn't call it junk as such. It's kind of like, it's our leftovers. Previously, you know, I had Tracy Emin throw things in the bin, Damien Hurst throwing the bin, you know, and people are kind of quite some of what they do with like uh, with value and so I like I really love the idea of people could like throw valuable artworks into the bin. That's what I really liked. And then people were thinking, Christ, what a waste. So, <laughs> I mean if I could get out that Damien Hurst I could pay for my extension or, or, or a Rolls Royce. I'm normally preoccupied with my new ideas but you get to a certain age where you have a kind of back catalogue and so you end up following the work around the world. It's a good cry. The whole theme of the exhibition is actually oblivion, so it really fits in to the whole thing. Yeah. I quite like it, like it is literally you're staring into oblivion, so I, that's why I wanted it really tall, so you're really staring into the abyss, so you're really like throwing it down, as opposed to the other one you threw it across, as this one, you're literally going to throw it down. So that's what I really like about it. So it's like an endless pit, really, of failure. 
Already there are more than uh, uh, 50 artists who are coming. They are already very excited to participate in this art bin and also interested in. And some of them are uh, still looking for from far. And yeah. yeah, they want to see what will happen. Yeah, that happened in uh, England as well. There were some artists kind of interested, mm -hmm. and but they kind of had to go, come and see it to feel kind of they just literally yeah, wanted yeah. to see it yeah, and they yeah, felt yeah. a bit more things. comfortable about mm -hmm. the whole thing, yeah. yeah. It's a huge bin. I feel a bit weird about admiring a bin now. I feel like <laughs> some sort of bin pornographer. I still uh, like the idea of a cleaner trying to throw all the rubbish out the bin though, because I've had things like that done to me before. There was once I had this red bin and had a picture of me, like a transfer, a uh, photograph of me stuck on the bit on the side of this red bin, but inside the bin were full of rubbish. And then the gallery cleaner came along and emptied the rubbish from the inside the bin, threw it away. So I'm hoping that there won't be kind of you know a big hand comes in late at night and you'll find it in a big refuse bag outside the museum. Do you like this new art bin? Do you like it, it's great, yeah. It looks more like a bin this time. The last one looked more like a skip. Uh, I uh, wanted to uh, show this big art bin in the center of the museum so I could uh, realize uh, this. So I'm no, no, thank you very much. Because it is, like you say, like the Sea of Oblivion. Uh, a little bit sad. That, uh, so, a little bit. Uh, Mm, ecstasy. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Tell me about your artwork. Uh, for what I mean? My yeah. work? Yeah. Is so. Now, a secret. <laughs> <laughs> it's but a secret. Very, very big. Okay. Very big. So. Okay. Well, that's good, isn't it? Already we've got some contributions. Oh, this will make a very good sound. Oh, it's a bit lighter than one would imagine. Oh, that's good. That's what we call a bin filler. At the moment, it's, it's just a bin, but once people start throwing works into the bin and the audience start coming through the door, that's when it all comes alive, really. I use cassette tape. This tape uh, makes a motion on mm -hmm. the panel, mm -hmm. then to make another drawing here. Mm. That's my idea, but I failed. <laughs> I'm feeling complex because uh, normally I use every material, even I failed for next project, but this time I want to use uh, this motors again, but uh, I decide to throw it. <laughs> Didn't they like it? No. What did you give them instead? Uh, something. Ooh. Actually, something much nicer. It's going to fly. Uh, Let's hope it doesn't fly yeah, out of the bin. I held a funeral service. Oh, a small funeral. OK. My work is here. OK. <laughs> this is my work. Wow. wow. OK. It's all part of the work. Part of the yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, it's like a coffin. Thank you. The name of this work. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you very much. I'm throwing away a broken teapot. A photograph of a broken teapot. It's a very famous teapot. It's a teapot designed by Wagenfeld, the German Bauhaus designer who worked a lot with glass. It's a, it's a long way down. Yeah, it seemed to have a sort of nice, a nice poetic resonance in relation to that, to that gesture. Yeah. Thank you. Um, this is Art Bin, and um, I did a very similar one, but a slightly bigger bin, at the South London Art Gallery back in 2010. So if anybody knows of anyone out there with any uh, artistic failures, then this is the place to put it. Um, thank you very much. Most of the time,